Good morning, everyone. Please stand. Let us offer this novena to our blessed Francis Xavier Silos. He's a holy pastor, holy priest. We pray for the vocation of the priesthood today. So we pray for those priests that are very dear to you, maybe those who marry you, baptize you, even the bishop confirm you. So keep them in your, in your prayer today. Also pray for healing, that through the intercession of Silos, that our sickness and illness will be healed. So together we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ graciously hear us. Blessed Francis Xavier C. Lost. Francis Pattern of Cheerfulness. Francis Lover of Labors. Francis Model, model of Confessors. Francis Gentle Refuge of Penitents. Francis Example to Seminarians. Francis Master of Poverty. Francis Pillar of Peacefulness. Francis, comfort of the sick. Francis, companion to the dying. Francis, paragon of holiness. Together, O oh my God, I truly believe you are present with me. I adore your limitless perfection. I thank you for the graces and gifts you gave to the blessed Francis Xavier Silos. If it is your holy will, please let him be declared saint of the church so that others may know and imitate holy night. Through his prayers, please give me this favor. Together, divine physician, you infuse Blessed Francis Xavier Silos with the gift of your healing by the help of his prayers. Sustain in me the grace to know your will and the strength to overcome my afflictions. For love of you, make me whole. May I learn from the example of Father Silos and gain comfort from his patient endurance. Please open the number 392, 392 in the Gata book, Lord, who throughout these 40 days. Lord, who throughout these 40 days, for us they fast and pray. Teach us to overcome our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did contend and did the victory win, oh, give us strength in you to fight in you to conquer sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Today, the church also wanted to pray for the human rights, the dignity of the human being, of a human person. Yesterday, if you went to the... Uh, the uh, not the gala, but a fundraiser in the casino. 
that Father Baihi put out there to ask for help so that he could do the ministry in uh, human trafficking. We have a lot here in this state and throughout the world. So keep them in our prayer today as we pray for human dignity, reserved, respected, and so let us also pray for ourselves that the spiritual warfare that within us sometimes is just fight between evil and good. May the goodness of God, the truth of God, conquer all things. And so at this moment, let us ask God for mercy, for forgiveness, so that we truly celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we might press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the Paschal mystery through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly, all my servants, the prophets, yet they have not obeyed me nor paid heed. They have stiffened their backs and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord its God or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared the word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The responsorial. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today, if today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, voice, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come. Let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, pardon not your hearts. 
come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today, if today you hear his voice, pardon not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, pardon not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Damascus in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If, if today, today you hear his voice, pardon not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was drying out a demon that was mute. And when the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said, By the power of Beelzebub, the prince of the demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I dry out demons? If I then dry out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own people dry them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I dry out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relies and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel, the good news of the Lord. Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? When I reflected on this scripture, one word popped out. It's just so strong and it's so vivid. It's just so true. And that word was pride. Think of it. If every kingdom divided against itself, will be laid waste. Pride. If you can't just shout it out from your lung. Pride. Okay. Talk to your own pride and say, my pride. Think a little bit. I'm thinking about it because I love action movie and all the movies that rob the banks. We have so many of that by Hollywood. And think about it. They collected, I, mean, I just watched the movie, the call, Army of Thieves on Netflix. They selected the best, maybe a group of five people. One know about hacking computer. 
one knows how to open all the safe, the best safe boxes in the world. Got this guy. One how to just rob people. So they collected this group of people. They got a lot of money, reputation and everything. And then almost nine out of ten movies like that, they themselves kill each other at the end. Remember? To see who control the money at the end. Pride, my brothers and sisters. Pride is the father of all sins. And if you're talking about virtues, humility is the mother of all virtues. But pride will divide among ourselves. Pride will destroy ourselves and everything else around us. Think about the war we have right now between Russia and not just with Ukraine, with the world. That leader, I don't need to mention the name, the pride is bigger than himself. And that pride covers everything, my brothers and sisters. So today, the responsible psalm said that if today you hear the voice, his voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. The pride knows what he's doing and what she's doing. But the pride is too big and it's too deep and it's too arrogant to the point that he or she maybe doesn't care anything. I just do what I want to accomplish to the point that person exhausted. We have so many of that in our world today. Think about what happened right now in Ukraine. That means, yes, we just know war, but people living in that land, I'm thinking about my own Vietnam, so many weapons destructions hid in that ground, destructed so many buildings and displaced so many lives. And so all these young people, they live with that drama for the rest of their lives. And so today, let us think a little bit our own pride. If we have that little bit of pride already destroy our own family, how many times do you think pride involves in divorces in the families today? Pride. Even in seminary, my classmate, after he left the seminary, I became priest. I went back to see him, visited him in Dallas. He married to this woman. And we walked to the, the back of the, the house, and he confessed to me. He said, I wish I didn't had not left the seminary. The pride at that moment took his seminarian life, his vocation as well. We had a lot of disappointments in our life, a lot of hurts, a lot of misunderstanding because of pride as well. And so today, maybe the voice of God just whisper in your ears today, in your hearts today. Let us be humble a little bit. Who am I to stand in front of God? And God's voice said today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Please stand and let us offer to God a few prayers. We pray that we completely trust in, in God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who still struggle with their pride. 
especially our civil leaders and spiritual leaders, that God's voice today will easy and open their hearts. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the, in, um, the intention of this Mass for Mary Harper and Mark Harper. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we thank you that we continue to be here with you and to listen to you. Help us to be with you always. We ask all this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, through your goodness we have received this wine to offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in our sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from all our sins, iniquity, and cleanse me from all our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Cleanse your people, O Lord, we pray, from every taint of wickedness that their gifts might be pleasing to you. And do not let them cling to false joys. For your promise, them, the rewards of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The misery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks as you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that for taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those we mentioned in this Mass, who have fallen asleep in our hope, the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will have blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed Apostle, St. Jared, blessed Silas, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in the name of God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Every time we come to Mass, we learn from the life of Jesus, the one who sacrificed everything, even humble himself. He died on the cross, and so with that, with joy and gratitude, let us confidently pray for peace, for unity, to imitate Christ in our life today. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, as your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Body and blood of Christ. The 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 body and blood of Christ. Communion to form today. You have laid out your precept to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Let us pray. Graciously grace up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your head and receive God's blessing. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may Almighty God bless you, the Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks. Thanks be God. Have a blessed day, everyone.